Alrighty then, today's video is being made as a response to some of the most bizarre comments I've ever received on my channel. Now, before I go on, I gotta tell you that my neighbors are having some one of their super loud pool parties, so if you hear any weird sounds, it's from them. Anyways, in my maximizing your IP video, there was just some ridiculous comments. Number one being that I shouldn't be suggesting a Mumu to players because he's got two skill shots and they'll fuck that up. Now that one was just stupid, but second, one of the most common words tossed around was niche. Now for Rumble, who was the most common one to receive them, I would understand that. Rumble is under the radar, he's a new sort of jungler, he's very weird to be in the jungle, and he's been a laner for the longest of time. So yeah, calling him niche is wrong, but I can understand why. However, some people called a Mumu a niche jungler, some people even called Jarvan a niche jungler. All right. People use niche incorrectly in this game. They use niche as a sort of substitute for underused, underplayed, or underpowered. And some people use it correctly in saying that niche is just for, you know, a very specialized champion that appeals to only a sort of subgroup of people. That's correct, but honestly, a lot of people don't really use it that way. Now, in order to showcase just how poorly niche is being used, I sort of got to be a little bit mean. See, a lot of people bring up stuff like, Stomo, what about Jungle Galio or Jungle Garen? And they're great niche junglers, but they're not niche junglers. They're just bad junglers or passable junglers, champions that can kind of just passively do the jungle and not really get absolutely crushed. They're not really great, they don't really bring anything to the table, and there's other champions who do the same shit but do it way better. And in fact, you may be using them to the least of their prowess. Thing is, in order for me to explain what makes a champion niche, is I gotta sort of bring up a little bit of history lesson. When it comes to niche stuff, it has to be something that's unique to the role, something that expands the role in a way that isn't really normal. And in doing so, you sort of, you play them and you get a whole different experience or whatever. Anyway, I'll explain it using old jungle champions that were actually niche junglers. Jungle Darius back in season two could be considered a niche jungler because at that time, Tanks, or pretty much any junglers, weren't really expected to deal damage. They were just CC bots. They would have to build gold items, walk around basically naked, and try to do things. On the other hand, Darius would build the same exact way, yet he would deal a shitload amount of damage. He could actually kill and carry. He would murder the enemy team, carry for his team, and win games that way. I used him to get to high platinum during season 2. That shit was legitimate, you can even look up some of my old videos on that. Now, a lot of tank champions can deal damage, and hell, there's a lot of junglers that are just basically just being used for damage. So now Darius isn't a niche jungler, he's just crap. And there was a bunch of niche junglers or niche champions like that before. Now, Jungle Zyra was niche because she could put, the, uh, put up a bunch of flowers and tank them and do all this all sorts of cool stuff with them. Those were niche champions. They brought a whole new aspect to the jungle. Not not necessarily they were not doesn't necessarily mean they were good or anything. It was just very unique kind of game play style. Now I'm hoping you're seeing how niche is being misused. Remember, niche is sort of something that's supposed to appeal to a sort of group of people or for a targeted audience or purpose. And a lot of people are using it just for something that's been under underused or quote unquote unique. In this case, it's sort of when people just don't want to admit that they just want to play something, whether it's good or not. Now, there isn't anything inherently bad with that, but you can't be saying something that is niche or something is niche just willy-nilly. Now, to be fair, I should be making a distinction between niche champions being viable or unviable, or whether something is a viable niche champion and an unviable niche champion. But the thing is that people who toss around the word niche end up doing two negative things. One, they attempt to put down an idea, in this case a champion, simply because they don't understand it or want to accept that it's a thing because it's wildly different than something they'd expect. It usually takes some competitive player to bust them out in order to change this. The other is that they simply don't want to admit they're knowingly doing something poor because it would make them seem selfish. They want to play their jungle vein and they'll claim it's a niche jungler when it's just a poor jungler. They often know what they're doing is subpar but are trying to deflect the feelings of it being bad. 
Let me put it this way, back in Season 0, when armor runes were starting to become a thing, the forums were ablaze with calling armor runes niche because dodge runes were just so much better. People would bust out their math showcasing how often you were expected to dodge and how much more valuable that was than mitigating damage and so on and so forth. Even in the early videos I had, some people kept arguing that I should be taking dodge runes instead of armor runes or that, Stonewall, I cleared this with dodge runes and came out with less health. Eventually, pro players started to form pagers with the only armor runes and the occasional singular dodge rune, and then everybody started accepting armor runes as better. Fun fact, AD runes went through this shit too, where everyone's like, ah, oh, don't take AD runes, those are for poor people. Take armor penetration runes. And eventually, people saw that AD runes were great for a ton of champions, and a combination of AD and armor pen was the best. So what was the point of this video? Not much, except as a sort of way to address all the Stonewall X junglers viable because the streamer played it, it's a valid niche jungler our counter arguments are received. And also to say that simply forcing something to happen doesn't make it valid or reasonable. Anyhow, this was just a rant video. You can tell me what you think of this in the comments below and you can go check out the weird comments in that one video if you'd like. It's like a circus, essentially. This channel is supported by my sponsors, Crunchyroll and Loot Crate. Check out the description below for links to the websites. Signing up for any trials, including Crunchyroll's free anime trial, greatly supports my channel. Also remember to give the video a like to support the channel and subscribe if you haven't yet. I've also made a Patreon now and if you wish to support me through that medium then I welcome it. 